Salute family. Welcome back to Solomon's Vineyard. I'm yours truly, Mr. Russell Mack, and today we're going to be taking a look at a new release from the house of Mont Blanc. Now, I hadn't really been hearing uh, much about it, uh, but I did watch one video, and it, it's what inspired me to talk about it, since I have it, from old Mike over at uh, the Fragrance Wardrobe. So I told him I would preview it, all right, and it's from Mont Blanc. So let's get into it. Meet me on the other side of the clip, y'all. And let's get into this really, really beautiful, beautiful fragrance. All right, let's go. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome back, family. TGIF, it's Friday, the end of the work week. Uh, and, and you know Johnny Kemp, he was an artist back in the day, had a song that said, Just got paid Friday night, party jumping, feeling right. So some of y'all done got paid. <laughs> I know I did. It's my payday too. Um, listen, I'm glad you decided to stop by and click on this thumbnail. And um, I'm going to talk about a fragrance, y'all, that came out in 2020. I haven't really been hearing much about it. I don't know why, though. Uh, but we're going to take a look at it. But before I do, if you're new to Solomon's Vineyard and this is your first time catching me, the OG, Russell Mack, why don't you consider becoming a part of the family? Go on and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Um, there's some options will open. Hit all. All right. And that will send a notification to your feed, letting you know that Solomon's Vineyard is on the air. All right. You can also thumbs up the video. Share it. Uh, and then on, and there's a comment thread below. You can leave a comment there. Your sin of the day. Um, any any kind of fragrance talk, if you will. I, I'd say it like that. Uh, if you just want to shout shout me out and say hello, um, I would glad to hear. Uh, would love to hear from you. Um, and I think that's about it, you guys. You can uh, find me on Facebook at Russell Mac. Um, there I post all kind of stuff, new fragrances. I post in the, the fragrance groups there. Um, also, I, uh, you know, do word of the day. So just just feel free to uh, find me here or either there, okay? So let's get into this fragrance. Now, my, my friend Mike at Fragrance Wardrobe talked about this, uh, this fragrance uh, last night. I actually caught the video, and I told him I would do a preview on it. Now, I think I've mentioned it. But I didn't really get off into it. Uh, I know Talia had it in her video. Um, and this fragrance here is uh, from Mont Blanc. And this is Mont Blanc Legend Eau de Parfum. As you see, this bottle has a matte black finish. I think you can still see through it though. It has the Mont Blanc cap uh, with the star. This, this cap fits pretty snug if you will see it's chrome all around the top there like some of the Mont Blanc bottles like the, the, the legend bottles the uh, let's see there's a batch code underneath there I don't know what batch it is it's 12 o'clock you guys uh, <clears throat> so that's that's mainly it you guys I got this in a gift set all right I have the shower gel here it comes in the black black with gold and white writing this is the shaving lotion the aftershave lotion and I'm gonna put some on right quick because that's a part of the performance that I'm gonna tell you about uh, because this fragrance here is classified as a leather fragrance which I don't know why they did that but they did it I guess you know that's what they wanted um, the nose, the notes, and all of that will be uh, posted on the screen for you to see. Um, I think it's, what was the guy named? Oliver Pesh. Oliver, Oliver, Oliver Pesh. Yes. Um, he's the nose. I know he was the nose behind most of the flankers. And there are several flankers in this line. There is uh, the original legend that came out in 12, uh, 2011. They have a couple of legend special editions. Then they had a, a spirit legend. Okay, I, I, I've heard much talk about that one. It is a nice fragrance too. Um, there's a 
Legend Intense, which I have not smelled. Okay, and then there is Legend Night. Now it's a woody fragrance. Now that's the one I think I want to get my hand on. It's DDT concentration, but it is uh, one that I, I looked at the notes and I think I would like that one better. It does have an apple note in the heart, so I will try to get my hands on that one, <clears throat> guys. But then it came out with this one in 2020. Uh, and this is the Legend EDP, a Legend Parfum. Now, I don't know why they called it Parfum. Um, me personally, it's not that intense. Not, not like I thought it would be. And when we talk leather, um, I'm looking for something kind of strong, something kind of powerful. Now, I, I've smelled uh, Farragamo's new uh, release. And it's, it's Farragamo Leather Intense. Now, if that leather was 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 like was if this one was like that one we'd have something on our hands y'all so listen <clears throat> let me give you the notes let me go and open it i'm going to spread now you see i just put the lotion on which will help it to perform a lot better there's the juice all right now i will say this guy it is a very very beautiful smell very pleasant smelling i can't see anyone being off put put it put by put putting by this smell it's not a unique smell it, it, it does uh, smell similar to the original legend but it is deeper it's a little darker it has more body okay and I, I contribute that to the concentration all right but it is I would say it's pretty loud when you when you spread um, the people in the room uh, will smell you okay I, I would say about three maybe four feet projection um, depending on the size of the room, um, hmm, the notes are bergamot with violet leaves at the top. That's it. Now that's now that's all we found. Okay, and then in the heart <clears throat> we got jasmine and magnolia. Okay, with leather and oak moss in the base. That's mainly your notes. Okay. The first legend, which I, I really wish they had kept the apple in this one. I would have rather them kept the apple, the lavender, uh, the pineapple, and then just added the leather. That would have made a lot of sense, you know. But he went a different route, and he says this is a, uh, the, the uh, Oliver Pish, Peshk say that this is a leather fragrance. Well, if that's what they say, then that's what they say, but... I'm not getting a whole lot of leather in this fragrance until the dry down. Now, you guys know I love leather over here on this channel. And I talk about leather a lot in fragrances. So, I know my leathers, all right. What you're mainly getting in this fragrance here is that the, the opening from the bergamot, which is kind of citrusy, but you don't get that very long. It goes directly into the violet leaf, the jasmine, and the magnolia. That's what you basically get from this fragrance. No, there's no resins um, other than, you know, the note they use to create that leather uh, smell and, and then the oak moss, okay. The first one was an aromatic fougier, okay. They say leather and I guess they couldn't find no other place to put it, no other old factory profile to put it in. But what I will say about this fragrance here, the smell is awesome now I, the way i ended up with this is we were smelling fragrances at macy's this is the one that my girl liked she loved the smell of it now not from a, a previewer standpoint okay just from a lay person the smell is beautiful the average person that would smell this would actually like the smell it is fresh it's clean mm. It has a sensualness about it. Now, I could see this being worn on a date night or being wear, worn on a close encounter or, or maybe later on in the evening. Maybe you could even wear this to work and get away with it because I don't know why they, these, these companies, man, they, they putting this perfume label on these fragrances and, and the performance don't add up. You see what I'm saying? Many people say that about fragrances now, man. With the formulations, they put in tents, like just like Polo did. 
the new polo cologne intense. Come on, man. We know what intense is. All right. We know what parfum means. And this is what they're doing. Okay. Now, they didn't have to put that on here. They didn't need to put intense or, in, or, or parfum. They could have just simply released Mount Blanc Legend again. And that's what I'd make. Mount Blanc Legend again. You feel me? Um, the smell is beautiful, though. Okay. But clean, fresh, um, breezy, if you will. I don't know how, how, I could, how else to describe it. It's pretty breezy. I'm not getting the leather that they're talking about. Now, if you like violet leaf and jasmine and, and uh, magnolia, it is beautiful. It's a beautiful floral uh, leather scent. I don't want to say leather because it, it's not really leathery. It's more of a floral, okay? You got violet leaf, okay, which is a leafy note. And then you got uh, the, the jasmine. Now, I know what jasmine smells like, and I'm catching a jasmine. And I got a lot of magnolia. The bergamot is gone, all right? Now... I guess they said calling it leather because once it dries down and gets closer to the skin, you do get um, the jasmine along with the oak moss, okay, and whatever they call it, the leather note. And that's all you're left with. Now, I did get seven hours for sure. Now, I can't lie on the fragrance. I got seven hours, but it wasn't a strong seven hours. You maybe around the fourth hour, okay, it got closer to the skin. And then for the next couple hours, uh, I picked up the jasmine, uh, the leather, if you will, the oak moss, and a little violet, a little violet leaf, the, the bergamot gone. Okay, now, uh, I will say this too. The sillage, if you spray it enough, this is what I'm advise you to do. Spray your shirt. Whatever you're wearing, spray it. it it's not going to stain it. This is not that heavy. The sillage is outstanding. Very pleasant. I think that's where the magic is on this in this fragrance. It's the sillage. It's the scent cloud, the bubble, okay? Um, very nice fragrance. Um, I'm not talking down on it because I wouldn't have it if I didn't like it. It's not that. It's that these companies need to stop putting perfume, stop putting intense, okay? And I do understand uh, the levels of uh, uh, the percentage of oils that has to be in a fragrance to make it a parfum, to make it an intense, and to make it a, a du parfum. I understand it. And this is supposed to be the, the older parfum, okay? But it, it's nice, okay? But the companies, I think there are a lot of companies using it to get, to get, them, to get our money, to get you to buy it, all right? So, being that we are aficionados and we're previewers, we know better, okay? Um, so, and that's our jobs, is to tell you, okay? Don't get this expecting a strong leather uh, fragrance, because it's not. Now, what you will get is a beautiful, beautiful, pleasant floral scent that is mass appealing. It will get you compliments. It's great for, for uh, 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 wearing the work. It's great for casual. It's youthful, so any a young man could wear it uh, up to probably about 40, about my age. Okay, we can get away with it too. Um, what else? I, I would say this one is good for the gym. You could rock this to the weight room and get away with it fresh and jump on out the shower. This would be nice. I would even say going on the beach. This would be very beautiful for the beach. This would be perfect because of the... The, the, the notes, the, the note makeup and the sea arts from this would be really, really nice. So um, all in all, if I had to rate this fragrance, I'd give it a 7. Uh, let's say a 7.5, okay? Because I understand uh, I, I, I've got a sample of Farangamo leather. Man, look at here. And they got some other ones uh, that are leathery, like the Dolce & Gabbana K. Man, listen, uh, and it's and it's really a parfum, okay, and you ought to smell that one. Uh, I think it's classified as a leather fragrance, and several others I have. So, this one is pretty good, real nice. Uh, I like the bottle, uh, but I am going to get my hands on Mont Blanc Legend Night. That's the one I think 
is more for me. Okay. So, uh, Mike, Fragrance Wardrobe, you did an outstanding preview, brother. You hit you hit it on the nail. Um, you hit the nail on the head. And uh, this, this preview was for you. All right. And I hope you enjoy it, my brother. Uh, my family, listen, get your hands on this. Don't blind by this. I would say try to get your sample first. See if you like it, okay? It would definitely be in my summer and spring rotation because it just, it's just, it, I would say it's not a bad fragrance. It sits right in the sweet spot, okay? It's, it's that comfort fragrance. Hmm. It do smell good, though. And if you, listen, I've been using the body wash and then roll, go with your lotion, all right? And then spray this. Then you'll get about eight, nine hours, okay? So that's it. That's my take on this uh, Eau de Parfum Mont Blanc Legend Parfum 2020. Um, you guys take care. I love you. There will be another preview coming up real soon. Stick around. Hang out with your boy. Help me to grow. Keep pushing me. Keep pulling me. All right? And keep praying for me. I need it, you guys. All right? Have a great Friday. I'll see y'all after a while. Peace, family.